Receivers. This is a mower I picked up for free. It was posted as a curb alert. I don't know. Maybe uh, they moved into the so they moved into the house and this was left there. I don't know. I saw the guy pressure washing his house and I saw a um, Husqvar Husqvarna lawnmower sitting in the driveway from what they had been using. I guess. So I guess they're just getting rid of this. So this is a Murray 21 inch, uh, 125 cc. This is a mulcher or a side discharge. I have the side discharge flap. It did not have the air filter or air filter cover, and it didn't have a gas cap. I've since then put this on it. This is not the right one, but just something for now. So, and the blade, the bait, the, the blade may be bent. It, 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 I did get it to run for a few seconds and it shook a little bit. But, um, so let's uh, see. Yeah. Shaft doesn't appear to be bent, so we may just have a bent blade. This is a 21 inch. It looks like it follows the craftsman pattern, so this means this Murray was made by AYP or Husqvarna. Um, probably out of their plant that was in Georgia that closed. This was made. See if we can look here. I think see I don't know when it was made. But that's a uh, that product ID tag it like or looking like that means this is a Definitely made by Husqvarna or Poulon. Gas tank, I, there was some old fuel in it. It doesn't look bad inside, but I just need a gas cap. I have no idea how much they cost. The ones I have don't fit it. So next thing to do, open up this carburetor. Okay. Your seven mil. You can pry up uh, about here. It's just enough room to get a small flat head screwdriver in. If it's never been off, it's, it's going to be a little difficult. Which, there. old fuel otherwise it doesn't look bad so just gonna wipe this out with a paper towel set that aside uh. Next thing to do, you gotta take this needle out. I'm gonna take this, actually I don't even, probably don't even need to take the, the float out. Just need to take this jet out. Uh, let me see if I can pry it out, there. You can sometimes pry it out like that. Sometimes you have to stick the screwdriver in there. This is where these all clog up and I can see it's clogged already. So, to facilitate things, just gonna spray off carburetor with some carb spray, spray into the, one of these holes here. Huh, you saw where that goes. This hole comes from here, goes there. And this is where all of our problems are gonna be. I can tell it's clogged there and clogged there. Let's see if we can get that unclogged. Bring these out. I like using carb spray and a little wire from like a loaf of bread. So what you're gonna do 
is starters. We're gonna spray this with carb spray into the jets. This one's, this one's clogged here. Second time I've ever seen that one clogged. If need be, I do have an extra one that I have cleaned out. There. I had a call come in. Now, I think they're gonna have to disassemble this jet. So what you do is you take a small flat edge screwdriver and you stick it here and you can you can kind of push it, take it apart. Be very careful. And then you can get to these little holes to clear out and this part separately, uh, which is blocked right there. Okay, now to see how clean the jets are, I've got it here. I got to shine a, my work light in the behind it. See if you can you can see the light there now. That that was and then here's the other one. That was completely clogged. To uh, put this back together, make sure your hands are don't have anything dirty any dirt on it that can get stuck in here. I like to give it a wipe over. Then this goes in like that. So it's going to come down here. And that little tab is going to go into, there's a pl place there. And then it, there, like that. Now, this should be clean now, or clean enough. To put this o-ring that came out it came flying out and it was actually in the bot because of gravity it was down on the other side you put o-ring in first and it has to be in this order otherwise it will not work right followed by the uh retaining ring which is white okay gives a good seal uh this goes even back in the old briggs classic use the same this thing kind of uh, parts probably. So now we gotta put the bowl on and it's got a little bit of junk in it here. So there we go. These go on only one way. So this area here goes corresponds to that, so it goes in like this. Line up the holes, push it together, and put your two uh, screws in. This, this carburetor should be ready to go back in. Uh, I've used a nut driver to put these in. Don't um, use an impact. Assembly, to put it back on. These are very simple, one linkage here Go like that and then we push it in so now we're just going to put this whole cover back on uh, I think I showed you how oil is it does have oil in it <clears throat> however it's barely on the dipstick and it's dark so it needs to be changed but it's enough to start it for a few seconds put some gas in it check the oil see let's see if this will run 
on that's actually for for the craftsman there I'm working on but whatever it's what I had and easily available Anyway, the shaft might be slightly bent. Uh, I straightened out a shaft with a couple hammer blows of a hammer recently. Maybe I can do the same with this. I Later. banged it out some. It's not perfect, but it's better than it was. Uh, in the process, my uh, two and a half pound hammer from Harbor Freight broke, so I'm gonna get to see how much that lifetime warranty holds up. Uh, I ended up using uh, this ball peen hammer, and I think I messed up the keyway on the shaft for the uh, uh, adapter, but I forced it on there. So uh, here we go. It's going to vibrate some, but it's, you'll see it's a lot, little bit better. Final look at this one. I'm gonna change the oil. I gotta get a uh, air filter cover, but that is a new air filter. I uh, um, I put a 20. I used 20 inch blade on it, and I actually found a uh, Murray blade adapter, the old Murray, and it fits the cement mower. So I went ahead and put that on it. Got to get a gas cap. This is just temporary. This one doesn't really fit right. So let me show you. here that's a Mur this is a murray blade adapter the old murray and i had um i had that in my parts this is a universal blade and i adapted it to fit it yeah it's 20 inch but it's balanced it's okay i gotta clean this off and change the oil so keeps your always keep your parts so uh, so i Finally used for that old Murray blade adapter out of my parts, so I can use the keep the other one that was on here for something else that's more your more common. So here'll be your start, um, I, and I added a pull cord uh, um, holder. I had probably from a craftsman or something, but again, air filter cover, oil change, gas cap, and. This thing's ready to go. And it doesn't, this doesn't shake as much as it used to. Oh. Later. 